We're back here with Mr. Michael Bublé. Now, Michael. this is something I'm mildly, I'm mal mildly jealous of here. One of the albums here, one of the songs on this track is My Valentine, which is a Paul McCartney song. Yeah. And you managed to get Paul McCartney to produce that song. Yeah, how about that, huh? For your album. How does one get Paul McCartney <laughs> to produce? Just call him up. What do you do? Uh, he, his manager sent my manager a note from Paul mm -hmm. saying, we hear you're doing this record. We think you do a great job uh, covering the song. It's a great, you know, it's a song that means a lot to him. Mm -hmm. And I wrote back and said, would you produce it? And then I went with my friend Nicholas Jacobson Larson, who's a, an incredible arranger, and we arranged this little demo, this little kind of, and sent it to Sir Paul. And I sent it to him with my phone number, never thinking I would ever get a call. And I was driving on Sunset in LA, and the phone rang from a 404 number, and I said, hello, and this beautiful voice said, Hi, it's Paul Mack. <laughs> and I panicked. And I said, I swear to God, I said, it's Mickey Boobs. There you go. Yeah. There and you go. Uh, yeah, and I, uh, yeah. And, uh, and I asked him, I said, I never want to put you on the spot, but I said, I just, I know that you could take good and turn it into great. And I just think he's one of the greatest. I know I'm alone when I... How many people sure. understand Where how do you talented find he is? The courage? <laughs> yeah. Where do you find the courage to compliment I, Paul McCartney's uh, musicianship? Yeah, exactly. No, I, I just said to him, listen, you know, he told me the story of the song and how much it meant to him personally. He wrote it was, for Linda? He, he, no, he wrote it for his, his wife now. Okay. And, uh, and um, they were on a holiday, and he told me that it was a rainy day, and he, uh, she came behind him. He was sitting at the piano, and she said, sweetheart, what if it rains, you know? Does it, who cares? We, we have each other. And he said he wrote the song very quickly. And I thought it was just such a beautiful love story. And so we met in New York, and he, he's, he's incredible. I mean, thank God I didn't watch the Let It Be uh, the, the documentary. Because yeah. I was already since? nervous, and have I would have just. Since? I've seen it, yes. Well, I watched oh, it God. after. He's, oh. he's, he, uh, he's unreal. A family of commercial fishermen, you worked with them, right? You actually did commercial, like, that was one of the jobs you did. I did. That's a hard job. Yeah, man. 13 to 21. Yeah, I'd okay. go back and forth in the summers and work on the Sane boat. What, what kind of boat? It was a Sane boat. It was about an 80-foot uh, purse Saner. Mm -hmm. So, What are you uh, catching? A salmon. Okay. Salmon up and down the coast uh, mm -hmm. from, say, uh, Vancouver Island to Alaska. Well, the, the, the reason I'm interested in this is because, yeah. you know, over the past year or so, uh, sea shanties have made a comeback. <laughs> And, you know, have you heard people have been singing sea shanties on TikTok and stuff like that? And okay. I love a good sea shanty. I was way ahead on this one. And, <laughs> seriously, and um, they're my speed. And you're, you, worked as a, you worked on the salty, briny deep out there as a commercial fisherman, and you're Canadian. And I was wondering if you know the Stan Rogers sea shanty classic. He's a Canadian uh, folk singer, no longer with us, unfortunately. Okay called Barrett's Privateers, about these Canadian pirates. Do you know this song? Arr, me matey, yes, I you think do? so. You do? Think I, so? I, I think if I've If I started it, before, it, would you jump in? To sing it with you? Yes. Yes, of course I John, would. John, I'm gonna give it a shot. Can you give me a D, you know me? <laughs> oh, the year was 1778. How I wish, wish I, I was, was in Sherbrooke sure. now. When a letter of mark came from the king to the scummiest the vessel I've ever seen. seen. Oh, damn, damn them all. I was told I'd cruise the sea for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. But I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. Oh, that's well, good. Sid Barrett cried the town. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. <laughs> For twenty brave men, all fishermen who would make for him the antelope's crew. Oh, damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the sea for American gold. We'd fire no gun, shed no tears. But I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. An honor, Michael Bublé. The album, Higher, is available March 25th. Stick around for a performance from Michael Bublé. We'll be right back with Rose Matafeo.